No contest. Former NBA star and current Pistons assistant coach Tim Hardaway back in court and makes a move to put an, an arrest for a DUI behind him. That's where we start at 5.30, everyone. Hardaway pleaded no contest to drunk driving charges today. Yeah, you might remember this police dash cam video of his arrest after being clocked driving 93 miles an hour on 13 Mile Road in Beverly Hills. Our Jamat Terry was in the courtroom today and shows us the reason Hardaway decided to end this saga as quickly as possible. Tim Hardaway leaves court here in Southfield hoping to put his drunk driving case behind him. He could spend up to 180 days in jail or he could get community service. But one thing he won't be able to avoid, that ignition interlock installed on his vehicle. All right, Mr. Hardaway, could you state your name for the record, please? Tim Hardaway. In 46th District Court, Tim Hardaway steps before a judge and enters a no contest plea. Entering a no contest plea is treated as a guilty plea for purposes of sentencing. Is that your understanding? Yes. The former NBA star and current Pistons assistant coach found himself in handcuffs. Beverly Hills police called him driving drunk. And another thing, look, I'm not, I'm not drunk and I'm not okay. intoxicated. Dashcam video obtained by Local 4 shows Hardaway failing the field sobriety test. He blew a .17. That's twice the legal limit. Hardaway was charged with being super drunk. He's been fighting the charges until now. The court ordered him to perform sober tests daily. I test at 7 a.m. Okay. and I test at 7 p.m. Okay. I, 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 and I do it regularly. My okay. wife is there with me. And we do it and we make sure it's done. And with this plea, he's required to stay sober. He leaves court facing up to six months in jail and fines. Mr. Highway basically accepted responsibility for his behavior. Hardaway's attorney insists he learned from his drunk driving error. Obviously, he made a, a, a poor choice, and he's remorseful for his choice. I suggest it's an aberration because uh, Mr. Hardaway has never been ever, ever, ever in trouble. Now, you have to remember the Pistons season starts in just a few weeks, and Hardaway requested the court push up the sentencing so that he can get everything squared away before the season starts. The judge agreed, and he will be sentenced on September 26. Reporting in Southfield, Jermont Terry, Local 4. All right, Jermont, and speaking of that sentence, Hardaway has driving restrictions until he is sentenced. He can only drive for work purposes.